Well, you've probably noticed your trip to the grocery store getting a little more expensive, and you're not the only ones feeling it. The restaurant industry is also dealing with the increased cost of food. Kelly and Sarah McDonald ex explains that she stopped by one local spot for breakfast this morning. Aaron, party of five. Customers are pouring into the original pancake house. Chad Stockland is enjoying breakfast here after finishing his shift at work. I tend to come here every morning after work because it's my all-time favorite place to be. From eggs to pancakes and bacon, the options are endless. But owner Janet Eining says many of your favorites are increasing in prices. We've been seeing a rise in the cost since the first of the year. It was slow at first, and now it's it's really you know it's increasing rapidly. Specifically, she says they're seeing a big increase in dairy and meats. She says egg prices are up 350 percent. We go through 1,200 dozen eggs a week. That has a big impact on our bottom line. So we're just to the point now where we're trying to figure out a realistic increase so we don't scare people away, but we can still keep in business. Eining says they are currently reviewing their menu to figure out exactly what those new prices might be. We hope this is temporary and we're saving the menus. So if it goes back down, we're going to drop our prices. And I would certainly think that that's going to happen at some point. Um, I wish it was next week, but I don't see that happening. Her staff is also in the front of her mind. For looking at ways that we can help them ease some of the burden that they're feeling now because of the prices in the grocery stores. We're family here, and if they're seeing higher gas prices, we're going to find a way that we can help them with their, with their gas coming to work. As for Stockland, he says nothing will keep him from eating at his favorite restaurant. Because I'm so addicted that I'll probably have to pay whatever. In Sioux Falls, Sarah McDonald, Kelloland News. Well, he's not the only one. The Bennett children would agree. Now she says they use, get this, 864 pounds of butter every week. It's another thing that has significantly increased in price.